In this video, we will be graphing cube root functions, but before we can really do that, we need to take a close look at the parent function, which is the cube root of x. Now, think about x values that would be easy to take the cube root of. Of course, uh, it would be easy to take the cube root of 0, because that would just be 0. And the cube root of 1 is 1. Um, but after that, we're dealing with 8. 8 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 8 is 2. And uh, the negatives work just as well. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, <clears throat> and the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Now watch what happens if we plot these points. All right, we get this pattern right here. Now if we connect the dots to see what's going on in between the points, it's going to make this type of a curve. And then it will continue like that forever. So this is what the parent function y equals the cube root of x looks like. It's sort of like a wave that goes from low to high. Normally it passes through the origin, 0 comma 0. Now let's talk about transformations. Um, if we take this cube root of x, um, if I were to do a minus h underneath the radical, that would move the graph to the right h. If I did a plus k, that would move the graph up k. And the signs are important. If this is plus, it will actually move to the left. If this is minus, it will move down. So that should be enough information for us to um, take a look at the uh, graphs on a multiple choice situation and uh, narrow it down. For this problem, we are being asked to graph uh, this cube root equation. Um, but this is sort of backwards from how we would normally see it. This is the same thing as y equals the cube root of x plus 5. So here I've just moved the 5 to the end like we would normally see it. And um, like we discussed before, when you add something on the end, it moves the graph up. So we're looking for a graph that looks like this, but it should be plus 5, so that's up 5. Okay, so the this is sort of the center of this graph. That's not up 5. This is the center of this graph. That's not up 5. This is up 5, but where's the rest of the graph? That's not it. That just leaves D. Here's the center of graph D. And uh, it is up 5. So this graph has the same shape as this graph, but it is up 5. So the answer is D.